Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at the MSX DC600. This is another board designed by Scotty and it's a clone of the TDC600 floppy disk controller for the MSX series. So with this simple board you can add a GoTech or a floppy or even two drives to any MSX system. Um, MSX1, MSX2, it just plugs in and works. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's a really simple build as you can see, there's not many components on it and uh, we're going to give this a go. This came from PCB Way, and uh, as you can see they've done a really good job on the board as always and I've got it in the same colour as the uh, Just For Fun MSX that I'm building. Um, I will actually finish that build when my components arrive but I've had a bit of a, a Royal Mail ding dong and uh, yeah they've been lost in transit or rather sent somewhere else Timbuktu by the sound of it. Anyway, let's get this built up and uh, we'll give it a try shortly. Okay, so this is the uh, the PCB for the, the floppy disk drive adapter. Uh, this is for the MSX, one or two I think it'll work on. Um, all I've done is I've taken the PCB from PCB Way and uh, I've just put a little filed, I don't know if that's even going to come out on camera, I've just put a little chamfer on the edge there, just so when you plug it in it isn't a square edge because these crisp square edges here, they can catch on um, some cartridge connector pins and deform them. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this together and, yeah, we're going to fire it up in a bit. Okay, so here you can see the build's finished. Uh, it didn't take very long. It's only about half an hour to build it. Um, so I've cleaned it all up. All I've got to do now is um, populate some chips in there and I'm going to have to burn a ROM um, so yeah, um, it's not very complicated. The only thing to look out for is there's a different capacitor here. Um, that's a 0 0.01 instead of 0 0.1. Um, yeah, everything else is really straightforward and really easy. There's only a handful of components on there. So yeah, let's get this together and uh, give it a go. Right, so we've got the TDC hooked up to a GoTech. Um, right, I'm having a little bit of trouble with it and I'll explain that now. So if we power up, we can see we've got the startup message. It goes off, the light comes on the GoTech. And the date. So let's say one, one, two, three, boom. So we've got a disk basic version 1.1. So it appears the ROM is working correctly. Um, if I then type files, access light comes on, disk IO error. So, yeah, this is a bit strange. Um, hmm. So I've hooked up the scope. There's not much to, to happen on this board. There's only a, there's a ROM, a controller chip, um, some address decoding with a 138 and an LSO4 to generate the clock. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've used all new chips, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. So the first thing I was gonna do is bell out the clock. We know the power's okay. We know the ROM's okay because it's booting up. Um, yeah, it's a bit strange. Let's have a look at the clock then. I've gotta be careful because I've got to do it while it's plugged in. Um, done a bloody arsehole out the MSX. There we go. I've got an RMS of 2.94 volts. Maximum 4.6. Right. So it is generating the clock. Hmm. Okay. Bit more investigation, I think. It's, it's almost working. So it can only be something silly. Okay, so while playing around with this and trying to get the GoTech to work, um, I bailed it out on the oscilloscope as you saw a minute ago, and it looked okay. Um, I've changed out the two resistors that make part of the timing circuit from 330 to 1K. 
That still didn't make any difference. However, what did make a difference was I had some of these in my parts bin. And these are the HD, not the 7.4 LS. So, um, Christ, how about that for some eyesight? Yeah, these are HD 7.4s, not SN 7.4s. And there is a difference because the combination of me changing the resistors to 1K with the original 7.4 LS or SN 7.4 LS chip in there meant it wouldn't work. But the moment I put one of these in with the 1K resistors, it worked. So there's definitely some kind of issue going on there. Um, it may work better with uh, an HC chip. Um, yeah, there's it's something a little bit not not quite right, but I'll uh, I will figure that out. I'm going to build another board up, and I'm going to use the 330s back in it, and I'm going to see if these this this works then. So yeah, either way, the project is sound. It, it's just yeah, using an LS in a timing circuit is sometimes problematic. But anyway. We're running. So, for anyone else wanting to hook up a GoTech and wondering how the hell they do it, because there's no information online, it's like this. So, you just need one jumper on the second pin. That's it. That's all you need. This one's hanging off on one pin, so it's not connected to anything else. I'm using a cable with a twist, and the dip switch settings are, as you can see, one up, one down two up so position two is down the rest are up so let's have a look now I've only got two images on here so this should be nice and easy to spot it'll bleep this basic version 1.1 straight in you don't get a lot of warning or, or any sort of feedback with the MSX, but there's no issue. So look at that. Let's just start the game. <laughs> um, there's got to be some way of starting it. Oh, it's moving. My keyboard's probably a bit knackered, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sort this MSX out. It's really quite grubby. Look at that. No issue at all. I like this game, but I really, I've been playing it for years on the C64. And I, I really never understood what it is you've got to do. There we go. Now, all I do is change it to a different image. I haven't got a, uh, an OLED or nothing in here because, you know, it's just for testing at the moment. So I turn that off. Reset it. That's quite fast loading. All I had to do with the FF config on the uh, memory card was just put in host equals MSX. Look at that. And I've dropped in two DSK files and it's in, it's working. That's just brilliant. So there we go. Oh, level one. I've always liked this game on different systems. I don't know why, because it's, it's really just a simple game, but I quite like it. MSX doesn't have a bad version at all. Look at that. So, yeah. The TDC 600 from Scotty works a treat and it's a simple build, yeah, and you can add a disk interface to practically any MSX, just for a few components, look at that. Um, I'm using a twisted cable here, some people, um, like like when you use a GoTech for other things like on an Amiga or an Atari, you have to use a straight through, 
Um, but on here it doesn't matter. You can use a straight or twisted. The MSX still works with it. I've tried it both ways. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm really happy with, with the interface. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Check out um, Scotty's GitHub. And he's, he's got some uh, YouTube things as well. So I'll leave the links in the description. And uh, yeah, check out my description for other YouTubers in a little group I'm in. Um, they do some good stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching. Later.